Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Aldrich Farm, where today we're going to be continuing on with the soybean harvest, and uh, hoping to, well, definitely have it finished, um, by the time I finish recording, I'm just hoping to get it done this episode so that I can move on to something new in the next episode. Um, going to do another two episodes back to back, and... Hope that I don't scrub too much. Um, by the time this is live and up on the channel, um, you guys would have seen the new series. It would have uh, also by the yeah the new series would be live at this point. Um, and episode two of it went up yesterday um, for you guys. Uh, what do you think of it so far? I mean, well, um, it's kind of something that I decided to throw together because I had a stupid idea and I'm crazy. But, um, I suppose the main question is, do you guys like it? Because, um, don't worry, I have been playing on that map off screen. Good lord. I, I have actually managed to get some off screen work done on that map. Because... Uh, My madness knows no bounds, and I honestly have no idea how I'm going to um, progress on that map. <laughs> I think uh, <coughs> I think money isn't going to be the issue, it's going to be time. It could be a ridiculously long series. Um, but maybe you guys want to see that, I, d I don't know. In any case, talking about Aldridge, um, the soybean harvest is going quite well, I must say. Uh, let me see what has happened. Well, nothing's happened off screen since the last episode, I believe. Um, we're going to be finishing up field 9 here. I have to check what field I mean. Good lord. And. Uh, I'm going to pop the combine back onto the low loader and hope that it doesn't crash into much while I'm bringing it over to field 8, which is a bit silly, because, I mean, all you need is a gateway, gateway right here, and gateway right here, I could bring the combine through, but no, it's not the way the map's made, so, uh, I'm going to have to take a slightly longer route around. Um, to to get the combine into the next field. Sorry, I've got, I've got do have a bit of a touch of a cold um, at the moment, so I'm a bit sniffly, and I've stopped sneezing at least, which is good. If I did sneeze, um, anybody wearing headphones would instantly be deafened because I tend to scream when I sneeze. Yes, yeah, so I'm one of those really insanely loud sneezers who just screams hashu or something to that effect. Uh, it's normally hash for some reason. It's just like, no, a chew, it's hash! Okay. Don't do drugs, kids. I always try not to sneeze in front of law enforcement. Could you imagine how awkward that would be? Just like, hey, I'm a, I'm a cop. Like, hash! <laughs> Hi, officer. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so hash. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know what hash is, probably better off not knowing. I don't even know if it's an international slang word. I, I know it's kind of slang in Ireland, but I don't know about anywhere else. So while that's filling up, I'm going to try... Uh, I'm gonna try and get the low boy in into the field. Oh, this is going to be fun. Where did I park the low? Oh, it's over there, around right the corner. <laughs> gonna get the low boy. Where did I put it? Where did I put the biggest trailer I have? Okay, so. 
It's gonna be a bit easier without a combine on it, I will say. Um. Oh yeah, I stopped it here because I actually crashed it into that pickup. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing turned around in, in some sort of way. Totally legit way of turning something around, by the way, guys. Um, if you're farmers, you, you all do this. I know this for a fact. I am in no way just making it up right now. Um, I should probably go correct farmer speed. I apologize, everyone. There we go, correct farmer speed engaged. I'm just making fun of everyone now. I'm genuinely sorry, but... To be fair, with this size of a trailer trying to get down this size of a road, one to ten kilometers an hour, it's probably actually a good speed to be going. And I'll just stop it up there for the time being. Get the combine. Oh, this is always the, one of the more fun bits is trying to get the combine around on this map. Um, also, I realize this is episode, what, 13 now? And I'm still only on the first harvest. This could be a very long series. Um, don't know how long I'm going to make it, but dang it. But, um, yeah. Could be quite long. Roll this out as well. Now, I've, I've mentioned before, I have seen a combine coming up around my housing estate. Albeit without a header, it was a New Holland uh, TX62, I believe. And it did genuinely go like four, five, six kilometers an hour down the road. Just because it's a housing estate it was driving through, not a field. Oh, this is... Why does this farm have a weak low registration number? I'm now... Now actually checking every other vehicle to see if that's the only vehicle on the entire map that has a number plate. It is! Oh my god, what on earth? It is a British bin. Why is the van the only one with a number plate? More importantly, why if we're in um, England somewhere is the number plate Irish? Vivo, Color Gas. Color Gas, I believe, is an Irish brand. <laughs> yeah, that's something I just spotted while I was walking around in front of it. That the uh, van has an Irish number plate. It's a. Uh, what is it? Ford Transit? Mercedes Sprinter, possibly. Either way, it's. more than a bit out of place. So let's, uh. Get the combine moving. I didn't forget to start my timer. Good. And uh, if you hear squeaking coming from me, um, be probably because I'm drinking my apple juice. I have instead of a can of coke sat beside me. I, I do technically have one sat beside me. It's unopened. But uh, I have a carton of apple juice today for my drink. So um, yes, <laughs> I'm I'm getting slightly healthier. I know apple juice is. It's apple juice from concentrate, so it's not the healthiest thing in the world. How is it easier to get this thing through now than it was before? Oh well. It would help if I gave the um, ramp enough time to actually unfold. There we go. Let's hop in the combine. Uh, and get into the field. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to stop the combine there. I'm going to... detach the 
detach the entire trailer there and try to squeeze up the bit of the road that I haven't taken up with it. Hey, let's go. Gonna go get the trailer now, which I've abandoned in field 9. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a map where moving the harvester to a new field was such a problem. <laughs> Play it. Finish the field now to get all of the equipment into it to get everything out. Okay, so I'm gonna have to roll the uh, container up. There we go, it's on its way, so let's just drive off a bit. Okay, it's about the ground, we can now turn because otherwise it would be a twitchy mess. So, um, yeah, I am glad um, that I got this size of container for the map. Um, I think it only really makes sense that I get one that's a bit insanely large. Uh, just because of... You know, I, I... It saves me running around trying to keep up with the combine and emptying it the whole time. And, and then running off with the trailer while the combine just sits there or a hard worker fills it up again. Um, I think it makes a lot more sense for me to have just one big container and plonk that down the field somewhere and hope the best. So we're going to start off field 8. I don't think we're going to get it done this episode so I might spill over into the next one. Um, because I'm just looking at the timer I don't think I've got enough time to do field 8 and start something else. Uh, but I'm going to try to at least finish field 8 and get it mostly done. So what we're going to do once we've got field 8 done is we are going to... Um, what do we need to do? What, what needs to be done around the farm? Okay. So, all the fields need to be seeded again. That's a given. Um, the soybean needs to go into the seed master so that I can get some seeds out of it. So that I can do some seeding. That's perfectly fine. The sheep, the lambs, need water. And I think that's it. I can realistically give them. Um, I could. I can't make TMO. No. Um, I th think one thing I'm going to do that is not exactly necessary, but wise is I'm going to get rid of the baler and the bale wrapper. Because I want to try and get into square bales on this map, and having a round baler isn't going to help. Um, plus, the, there's enough bales for the sheep already, so... For the lambs, I apologise. There's enough um, straw there, baled up already, so that it's not going to be an issue, so I don't see the point in having the round baler any longer. Once I get the square baler, which hopefully will be quite soon... Um, we can work on getting pigs and cows and beefs, beef cattle and all that stuff to get everything running. Um, I haven't actually checked any of the stats on the animals yet today, so let's have a look. Uh, I have one lamb at slaughter weight. Their productivity is inexplicably at 0%. Uh, they have grain, silage, and straw. So they do need water, and they do need earth fruits as it's put down, but potatoes or sugar beet. Um, you can put a mix of both in, to be fair. If you run out of um, sugar beet and you've got tons of potatoes to spare, uh, you can put, you know, you can mix them. The animals don't seem to care. Which is kind of helpful, I suppose. Uh, I think on this map we're gonna grow beets because the potato planter is. Or, well, the potato planter is fine, it's the potato harvester that's an issue. And uh, the only one that will probably be able to afford a single roll. Uh, 
after the MR series last um, yeah last year uh, in FS 2013 I'm not going single row harvesters anymore I'm not spending eight hours of my life and my day um, desperately trying to get a field harvest I've tabbed Uh, da, da, da. It's a lot easier to get back to the starter vehicle with the controller as well if I accidentally tab because um, I can just press the opposite button. So if I. I'm going to intentionally tab here, phones. If I tab right, I get to the pickup. If I tab left, I get back to the John Deere. Perfectly fine. So if I tab accidentally tab, I can intentionally tab my way back very quickly so that I'm not cheating. Okay, so that's that. I've done it again. It's the other map that's getting me into bad habits. Um, the other map is just getting me into bad habits because I'm trying to do everything really efficiently on that map. And uh, I end up tapping around everywhere the whole time. So, let's see. 16 minutes four minutes to go yeah we should get <coughs> at least most of field eight done uh, while the harvester's emptying I'm just gonna have these fat juice tasty a bit syrupy because I left it overnight oh well. it puts me into a good mood which is kind of <laughs> I'm gonna guess you guys like having me in a good mood because otherwise I'm just this really quite horrible person. Um, actually, unbearable if I'm, bad, if I'm in a bad mood. Um, as my friends can attest, if I get into a bad mood, yeah, you're not gonna want to talk to me. In a good mood like I am right now, probably still wouldn't want to talk to me because I won't shut up. Especially if I know you. If I know you and I'm in a good mood, you are screwed. Because I don't shut up. I just keep talking and talking and talking. I think I'm supposed to go around the corner there. Well, well let's just... I'll be downy then. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Um, my mind has run away. It has decided. I have nothing else to say. Come on, brain. Come on. Give me words. Give me words. Um. See, so the other series, I literally only have those few rules in place. And um, if, you, if you've watched it, you know what the rules are. But there is one thing I left out, and I'm going to mention in the next episode of the Hardcore series. Um, that is the... Uh, got um, growth control or night growth I should say set up so that when the growth speed is set on slows that takes four days for a crop to mature and I'm going to be using that setting um, on a Banta cow just because you know having it set on hard and not editing the map file at all um, was so very helpful. Um, I possibly should have edited it so to give myself a tiny harvester, but if I did that, you would have literally a hundred episodes of me harvesting the first field. Um, the harvester that comes by a standard of the map is the correct size for that map because those fields are huge. So we're almost done here on field eight. We're almost at the episode, I've just checked my timer again, and uh, OBS and my phone are disagreeing, but that's because I was turning on my phone timer after OBS, and I use that as the official time for me. Um, so, yeah. I know I'm saying um so much, just like tasting the air is an um, 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 eating air is so tasty. I don't know. Um, <coughs> I make fun of myself for doing it and then I say it almost immediately. Well done me, you are a twit. 
So, I think we're gonna finish up Field 8 off screen, or I will at least. Uh, in the next episode, or, well, yeah, in the next episode that I'll be recording straight after this one, um, I'll be throwing however many soybeans I can into the Seedmaster. I will start seeding on field, fields A and B with a, a crop. Probably barley or wheat because they have pretty good yield. Pretty good yields. Um, actually, what crops can I seed? Let me think. Barley, wheat, canola, soybean. And I have one, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, five fields, four crops. I've got alfalfa as well. Okay, so um, off screen I'm gonna very quickly draw up some sort of crop rotation because we've got enough fields to cover all five crops and we can get one crop per field. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we will work out. Although I think I should probably work on getting a bit more money before I start doing any... No, I'm going to do crop rotation so we get roughly, vaguely, equal amounts of everything. So, yeah. In the meantime, and while I empty the harvester, and load it back up onto that trailer over there, uh, I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 15 on Old Ridge Farm, please comment, like, subscribe, and all of that nonsense that every YouTuber wants you to do because it is so very helpful. I'll be back next time where I'll have some sort of crop rotation um, idea in place, or uh, written up at least. So, thank you very, very much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.